Hi, I'm Roxy Jasenko. I'm super excited to be here for the Women Who Lead series. I own Sweaty Betty PR, the Ministry of Talent and Social Union. I guess challenges for me when I first started my business was the fact I was young. You know, people, I suppose, have a, there's a stigma around, well, if you're 24, you haven't got enough experience to be able to look after my brand or my product or my service. Um, I don't think age should be a factor in anyone's decision. You know, um, a lack of experience can be counteracted by a desire to deliver, and that's what I had. Yeah, I had a lack of experience, but I had this absolute desire not to fail and to ensure that I delivered beyond customer expectations. So youth was an issue for me um, in terms of getting clients. The smart clients didn't let it bother them. The ones who were stuck in the 1999 ways of doing things, they let it bother them. Um, but sure enough, they came at the door later on. Um, so I think the reality is also, um, you know, age will be can be a problem, but as long as you can show them why it's not a problem and the fact that as long as you're, you know, hungry to, to deliver, you know, you've got a passion to succeed, you'll treat the brand or the product or the service as your own. I think age doesn't matter. Obviously being a girl um, can be an issue. I think that's a really old mindset. I don't really get it. Um, you need to forget about that. Don't let that hinder your thoughts on whether you should start a business or, or, or sort of progress in your career. You know, guys and girls, what difference does it make? You know, it makes no difference. Just be good at what you're doing and have confidence in yourself. I think my biggest part of being able to have that supposed work-life balance is not worrying about a work-life balance. You know, I think it's, it, the less you worry about it, the better off you are. Um, I probably don't have a good life work balance, but what I do know is my children are very happy, my business is thriving, and if it means I sleep for four hours a night, it means I sleep for four hours a night. Um, I spend no time worrying about how I'm gonna fit things in. Um, my biggest suggestion is just do it while the opportunity's there, because if you don't, someone, it will pass you by. A really interesting thing for me, I actually never had a mentor when I started, and I never really had anyone to ask questions to. One, my parents didn't even know what PR was. They were like, what are you even doing? Number two, I was 24 and my friends really were either in uni or, or traveling and I didn't really have anyone around me to ask questions to. So it was either make the mistakes and keep going even if you make a mistake um, or, you know, it, it was Google. You know, there wasn't anyone to ask questions to, which is why for me now, any email, any inquiry I get, I will always spend the time answering because it's a good thing, you know, to be able to bounce ideas and ask for advice when you're in a situation is a wonderful thing to have. I never had that. Um, so I can't even give advice on, you know, well, my mentor taught me this and this has stuck with me for the last 14 years. I haven't had that. I've had, if you fail, don't worry, pick yourself up and keep going. And that was my own learnings. I think one thing that I've learned as well in business is that, and I, you know, if, for instance, someone sends me an email and says, oh, what should I answer? I don't want to see that email. I want them to draft their response, think about the scenario, think about what the answer is, and then I will critique it. But I don't want to be the person, and I think this is a big thing with mentoring as well. You don't need a mentor to be able to tell you exactly what to do. You need the mentor to, like, to, to critique your ideas on what the solution is. So that's a big thing for me and I do that with my team. It is high pressure, but I think the business of PR is only as high pressure as you make it. If you do things as they come, if you're creative in your thinking, if you map out you know, what your brand is and what the goals are and what you need to achieve PR-wise, I actually don't think it's such high pressure. Pressure for me is the amount I've got to do, but that's because I like to oversee all accounts plus run the business as a whole. Um, but I don't really see it as pressure. I think that you can make it as stressful as you want to make it. But is, if you are smart about the way you work, if you manage your time well, and if you have a clear goal of you know what your aims are for that day and what they are, the aims are for that week and for the brand, well then you, know, you, you, you can't really fail. We have to think about life in business as fruit and vegetable business. If the fruit at the front of the store is not sold on that day, tomorrow it's off. So the aim is as soon as the opportunity comes in, you get it out, you sell it, you sell those grapes because you know tomorrow they're off, you lose your money. The, you know, the team is the backbone of your business. If you don't have a good team, you're not going to have any business. Um, I'll push my team. I don't care if they don't like me. My aim is to see them progress and succeed in their career. And if I have to critique them to ensure that they continue to grow as a team member, so be it, that's my job.